How many sprinklers, like this Hunter I-20, can you put on one sprinkler valve? We're gonna answer that question in this video. I'm Sprinkler Nerd Andy, and you're watching Sprinkler TV. This can be a complicated topic, but it really comes down to just a couple things. I'm gonna boil it down to three specific areas that you need to understand and know about your house, your building, your site, and your system to determine how many sprinklers can you put on the valve. Number one is you need to know your available water and the pressure. How many gallons a minute do you have available? Are you pumping out of a well and you only have three gallons a minute? Or are you coming off a large two inch city source and you have 50 gallons a minute available? You need to know what your water supply is and how many gallons per minute you have available. Some people recommend doing a bucket test where you can take a five gallon bucket, put it under a hose bib, turn on the water, time how long it takes to fill the bucket. But generally speaking, when you use a hose bib, you always get about the same amount of water. So it's best to look at the pipe size coming into your house from the street and the pipe size running to your irrigation system. Then you can use what are called friction loss charts to determine the gallons a minute that you have based on your pipe size. For instance, a one inch pipe can flow up to 15 gallons a minute. All right, so you need to know your water flow, available water, and you need to know your pressure, your static pressure. Static pressure can be measured by taking a gauge, putting it on a hose bib, recording the value, okay? We're gonna get to dynamic pressure in just a minute. So that's step one. You need to know your available water, how many gallons per minute, and what is your static pressure. Number two is what is the water requirement and pressure requirement for each sprinkler. How many gallons a minute does this nozzle use? This one here is a hunt, it's an Eritrol sprinkler, but it's a Hunter Pro Spray 10A adjustable nozzle. What is the pressure requirement for this nozzle and how many gallons a minute does it use? Because what you're gonna do is count up all your nozzles and, all, and the water requirement for all your sprinklers, add them all up and see what the total is. Maybe the total is six gallons a minute and you know you have 10 gallons a minute available. Okay, so you gotta count up all your devices. And the last step, which is a little trickier, is to understand dynamic pressure. You could put a pressure gauge on that hose bib, turn it on and get a static pressure reading of 75 PSI, but you still could have 20 PSI at the sprinkler, depending on all of the apparatuses and the length of pipe, the water has to travel through. Water traveling through pipe and going through devices like backflow preventers, water meters, irrigation valves, it reduces the pressure when the water is moving and that's called dynamic pressure and that's called friction loss. And it's important to look at those devices and subtract from your static readings. So, I would say a good rule of thumb is to perhaps subtract about 20 to 25 PSI-ish from your static pressure to the dynamic pressure. It could be as low as 10 to 15, depending on what you're going through. If you don't have to pass through a meter, if you don't have to pass through a backflow preventer, which is kind of rare, and depending on the type of backflow preventer. And again, we could talk about this uh, for <laughs> all day long, but I wanna give you the concepts, okay? Concept number one, what is your available water source? What is your pressure? Concept number two, what is the flow requirement of the sprinkler? Add them up. The manufacturers publish this information. You can look at Hunter's performance charts. Google that word. Hunter PGP performance chart. And you can see the number nozzle and how many gallons a minute. Then add them all up. See how many you can put on one zone based on that information. So I hope that helps. It's not terribly complicated. You just gotta kinda wrap your head around how many gallons per minute does this device use? How many gallons a minute do you have available? And what's gonna happen to the pressure on your system when you turn the water on? And if we can help answer any of those questions for you, reach out anytime, happy to help. You can reach us by phone, chat, email, text message. And until the next Sprinkler Supply Store helpful tip of the century, happy sprinkling, we'll talk to you then.